If you have Crohn's colitis and have failed medications, you may need to consider having your colon removed. Used to be that required an ostomy bag, but new data suggests that may no longer be true. Watch the rest of this video to understand why. When a person has a colectomy to remove their colon, their greatest concern can be the placement of the ostomy bag. It seems difficult to manage, but I want to assure you, most patients adapt to the change and they find that the relief of symptoms by removing the diseased colon is very beneficial and worth the ostomy bag. Yet patients would like to poop through their anus once again, and this can occur with the placement of an ileal pouch anal anastomosis. Surgeons use a loop of the small bowel called the ileum and cut it open lengthwise and fold it back on itself. This effectively makes it twice as wide. The disruption of those muscle fibers also makes it less mobile. The result is a pouch that is bigger and less mobile, more akin to a rectum. It's better able to store poop until you can empty it at a more convenient time. This pouch is then connected to the anus to complete the ileal pouch anal anastomosis. Yet an ileal pouch anal anastomosis has been ill-advised for Crohn's patients because Crohn's often affects the small bowel or can cause anal disease. And taken together, that meant that the pouch was expected to fail. And so patients that had their colon removed with Crohn's disease often had what was called an end ileostomy, which means that the small bowel opened up to their abdomen and emptied into an ostomy bag. A recent review of several studies which investigated the long-term effects of an ileal pouch anal anastomosis in Crohn's patients showed that they actually worked much better than would be expected. The results of a pouch were certainly not perfect, but they were so much better than expected that patients with Crohn's colitis who have had their colon removed deserve to be considered for the formation of a pouch so that they can enjoy its benefits. Only one in six pouches failed over a course of nearly six years, and that's a pretty good success rate. As would be expected, patients who had anal involvement of Crohn's tended to fare worse. Infectious complications were not uncommon. About one in three patients developed inflammation of the pouch, but that's usually manageable with a course of antibiotics. One in 10 patients had a more serious pelvic infection. Functional problems of the pouch were also not uncommon. One in five patients developed a narrowing of the anus called an anal stricture. One in every four to five patients had some symptom which prompted them to use antidiarrheals, be that they had urgency or incontinence, and they may have even had to use a pad during the daytime because of anal leakage. Unfortunately, these complications can be nearly as troublesome as the fear of an ostomy bag. But for many patients, they were able to maintain a functional pouch that delivered them a much higher quality of life. This study motivates me to inform a patient who has Crohn's colitis and may be going to surgery to consider the placement of a pouch as long as they don't have an obvious risk factor for failure, such as severe anal involvement of their Crohn's disease. It's also important that the patient be a non-smoker because that's going to make for a much more successful surgery in general. If you're weighing surgery for management of your Crohn's disease, I hope you found this video informative for some of the options that may be a good fit for you. If you have, then please subscribe to this channel to continue learning with us. Thank you and be safe.